Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some Rim World, a colony simulator by Tin and Sylvester. We've played this game in the past, we played it on stream, we're gonna play it some more. This time very heavily modded by the community for me. So, yay, fun, let's do this! New colony! Uh, we have multiple scenarios to choose from. We're gonna go with the crash-landed classic Rim World experience, simply because one character is too few, five characters is too many. Uh, let's just go ahead and do Crash landed. Um, although, Lost Tribe, your tribe was destroyed by the great blood machines sent by the gods. Five managed to escape, now it's time to rebuild a new home. New tribe, you start off with crappy technology. I like the idea of having no technology. That sounds like a lot of fun to start from the very beginning of the game. I changed my mind, let's do this one. Lost Tribe it is. Uh, we're gonna play on rough. I hope that I don't get murdered horribly. We're gonna play with, I don't know if this will work, but let's try it, the Arumba Seed. Because I understand that if you use the same word, that uh, it'll spawn the same world, right? That's how seeds work, generally speaking. So, yeah. Maybe it'll be the same for you, too. Now, as far as um, how we choose where to spawn, I <clears throat> I understand it's only spawning like 30% of the planet because somehow that makes the game run better or something. So that's good. I kind of I kind of want to play... I don't know. I, there's just so much. There's so much. I want to play temperate. I think, with like not too crazy temperature extremes, because otherwise we'll just get beaten up by all kinds of stuff. So why don't we choose like, uh, sure, large hills in, uh, I pick this spot. This spot's good. So winter temperature's 30 degrees. It's, well, it's chilly. Summer temperature's 73. Maybe make it a little bit warmer if we go a little bit further south. Average temperature's 57. There we go. That's pretty good. Let's go that one. It's mountainous. We've got sandstone, limestone, and marble. That sounds good, let's do that one. Next. Now here's the really cool thing about this mod pack that we're using, and that is that there is a mod that was made by a one of the community manager type people on the RimWorld Discord server named Airdelf, who put together a CSV mod thing for me that basically replaces all of the name generation in the entire game with people who are Twitch subscribers and or patrons. So every single person that you're going to see in the game, whether they are good, bad, or otherwise, is a subscriber or patron. So, we're not going to get rid of these names. However, we are going to prepare carefully because I want to make sure uh, we, we don't have people who are incapable of stuff. So what we'll do is we're going to use the Prepare Carefully mod. Uh, the name we will keep the same. So, Syrinx Sir, Endos, also known as Sly, is uh, in the game. Guaranteed, 100%. However, we've got this incapable of field here that we have to make sure is, is not looking too bad. So we've got Sly. We've got Scott Eastshire, also known as Taze, reclusive child warrior, incapable of social. We're gonna want to get rid of that, I think. We've got uh, Northern Lion Rap God Scumbag. Now, um, this doesn't necessarily mean that he is uh, a subscriber slash patron. This does, however, mean this is complete chance, by the way. But uh, the subscribers slash patrons had a a name submission form that they could use, and I guess somebody decided to. Uh, put his name in instead of their own. So that's fine. Josh Walsh, also known as Yoshizors, and Wallace Randolph the Girthy. <laughs> that is such coincidence. Holy crap, two random names. Unless they, do they put it in there like 400 times maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so let's, let's sort through this. Incapable of none sounds good. We got a melee man. Um, sure. I mean, I, I, I don't really want to tweak them too much, I just want to make sure that we don't have people who are incapable of certain things. Taze didn't learn to speak until she was nearly five, and even then she preferred to keep to herself when she was in her early teens. She made a habit of wandering off from the village to live in the wilderness for weeks at a time. Wardening and negotiating disabled. Let's see, does that... Yes, that is the one that's knocking off social. So, we're gonna just click randomize backstory until we get incapable of none. She's now a fire tender and a cave tender. Okay, sounds good. Scumbag, uh, you are incapable of violent and scary. Let's uh, get rid of that problem. Tribe child, shooting plus one, melee plus one, growing plus two, research minus three. And another cave tender. Okay, fair enough. Uh, another non-sociable character. We have a herder slash healer. Melee, negative social, plus medicine, and even more medicine. Now, it would be nice with you having so much skill in medicine if you were, like, passionate towards that. Is this... Is this, uh... Alright, let's let's see. The girthy here with the annoying voice. Uh, what does this button do? It resets points, okay. Um... Hmm. 
Okay, um, use point limits. Enable point limits if you want to maintain a balanced start by paying for skills, additional colonists, and equipment. Your starting points will match the point cost of the characters and resources that you were randomly generated from your chosen scenario. Points remaining only 30. That seems reasonable. That seems fair. Okay, um, let's get rid of the, uh, the incapable of. We've got a, a herder, cave tender. Uh, we already had, we have too many herders. Fire tender warrior. I mean, I guess. Sure. So what determines what they are passionate about? Is that, uh... Uh, that's a click. You just click. Okay, so we need to make sure we're, we have a somewhat balanced start then. We got five dudes. And they need to at least be somewhat decent at building up a base. So, let's make sure we have one person at the least who's passionate about growing and crafting and stuff like that. So what do we have so far? We've got crafter here guy. You're going to be really passionate, Taze, about crafting. Um, I assume you right click to make it go away? Yeah, we don't need someone to be passionate about melee. Passionate about it. Let's bump that one up a little bit. Make you an animal freak. Each person's going to get one double passion, one regular passion. You are going to be our passionate medicine person. Just want to make sure I didn't already have a mash someone who liked medicine. Artistic, sure. So we got some things. Is there anyone who's not passionate or any good at social? Looks like it's going to be Taze. Hmm. You know, it's just a lot more work than I thought to actually, like, prepare carefully. Main thing I wanted to avoid is I didn't, I didn't want to click randomize over and over again to to get rid of the incapabilities and then miss out on the randomly spawned names. So the rest of this stuff, I guess we'll just deal with the cards we were dealt. But um, for the most part, yeah, we're good. So apparently we're going to start with a Yorkshire Terrier, a cat, a warg, a bunch of other junk. Let's go. Let's do this. Leroy. Can't, I can't help say that lately. I don't know why. I think it's, um, yeah, it's, Northern, it's, it's not Northern Lion's fault. It's, uh, it's Filthy Robot's fault. Blame, blame Filthy Robot. All right, so what do we got? We have spawned in next to a whole bunch of Boomalopes. Fantastic. Okay, so we have a lot of mods. I don't even know what they all are. Um, let's unforbid the weapons. We got some herbal medicine. We will keep that forbidden for the moment. Well, actually, no one's going to use it. Let's go ahead and let them gather it up. Uh, we've got a jade knife. We've got a pila, a short bow. And, uh, let's take a look at some of our creatures and stuff. So we've got Raindan1257, the cat, Chad Dukes, the Yorkshire Terrier, and DMC Duke. Duga. Duga. So I'm not really, I think this is actually related to the names that we're uh, replacing vanilla games as well. So let's get us, let's get used to um, Sly, Taze, Scumbag, Yoshi Zors, and The Girthy. Where do we begin? Well, we should have like 300 wood, I think should have dropped. Something around there. Yeah, there it all is. Okay. And I don't actually remember what starts with this setup. So let's take a look at our characters. We've got um, work. Actually, no, I want to look at, I just want to look at the characters, characters, and who's good? Here, a perfect example of numbers. Let's use numbers. I like this one. Add stat. We want to look for shooting accuracy. We want to look for shooting speed, firing speed, aiming time, and as a skill, we will compare shooting, sort by shooting. So we've got accuracy, and you can sort by one or the other, but um, clearly... Aiming time is at 125% for Yoshi Zors. Why is that? Aiming time. Careful shooter. Okay. Just one of his traits. Fantastic. So numbers is super useful, I think, for comparing stuff. Basically, I see Sly being our primary uh, person that's going to have good stuff. And then outside of that, we've got Yoshi Zors was second place. He can have the other bow. And then the Pila. What is the Pila? It's like a non-reusable throwing spears. Okay. I wonder how many are actually in there. Let's just go down the list. I guess we give the Girthy. We'll pick up the Pila. 
And beyond that we had... I'm, I've still got to adjust these names. Scumbag and Taze. So Scumbag gets a club. Because <laughs> of reasons. And Taze, you were at the very bottom, yes? Taze, I guess you get the... The wooden spear. Sure, by all means. Let's do it. We also do have this this jade knife. Wasn't there someone who really liked the melee? I think that there was. Yes, Sly Endos, who is actually also fairly good with other things. Can you have two weapons at once? Looks like maybe? I would hope so. No. Hmm. Well, she really likes the melee. It's kind of kind of a tough decision then to make, isn't it? I'm gonna stick with the ranged weapon, even though you like the the, the melee weapon. I just feel like it's the right call. Well, let's go ahead and get started on some basic things here. Let's build some walls. We're gonna build a um, fairly sizable room if we can. Uh, what's this line? Appears to be a line across the map. That's interesting. Appears to be a line across the whole area. Oh, that's probably the buildable area. Got it, got it. Okay, so you can't build up to the edge. Gotcha. That makes sense. Well, I think we want to move somewhere that's going to be easier to restrict. We got a little growing area in here. Might not be a bad idea. Just turn this into a whole roofed-in area. Uh, so let's go ahead and say we're going to live over here. And we will add in a door. Let's create a basic stockpile somewhere on this side. Bring all the stuff over, guys. We're gonna live over there. Grab it all up, let's go. Come on, Rain Dan1257 the cat. DMC Duga. This is Northern Lion Scum Northern Lion Scumbag Rap God's dog. Rather, it's a warg. Well, that's cool. One of the things I think is really cool about numbers is that you can, uh, you can even do something simple like uh, add other current job. I love having this interface just to be able to see, like, Taze is being lazy. Fantastic. Taze, why don't you do something? Rivaled to Wallace the Girthy. Fantastic. We've got a little bit of a dispute within the, uh, in the base. We have a timber wolf on the map. Hmm. What is reserved? What is reserved? Okay, only so many people can carry it, apparently. I mean, you can't carry 380 at once, that's for sure. Okay, well, we'll get started on building this stuff. I've been told that you don't have to wait for trees to be 100% grown, that you do get yield at, like, 60% plus. And we know we're gonna need a lot more wood, so let's go ahead and chop some of this stuff down. Starvation! These colonists are starving. Yoshizors is, like, really hungry, apparently. No food? Trivial survival? Moderate amount of pain? Greedy for an impressive bedroom. I see. A little bit of malnutrition. Hunger rate times 150%. Great! Uh, did we not have any food? We got medicine, but no food. Fantastic! I guess it's time to go hunting something. Can we hunt the alpaca? I'd rather not kill an alpaca, they're really easy to tame. Where is other food? We killed a turtle. We could, but it, it seems like it'd be kind of a weak, weak haul. Now the boomalopes, they provide food, right? Leather? Leather, and uh... 135 beat, they just, you know, just explode when you try to kill them. Not seeing any easily killed things here. I don't want to kill, uh... A hare is barely going to give us anything at all. Alright, well, let's just do something very, very basic. I don't think this is going to be a very good thing to do, but, uh... We're going to say... We want to... Harvest... Any bushes that you find. Find something for that man to eat. Who is currently assigned to plant cutting? 
Only one guy, Mr. G Mr. the Girthy. We will soon move, I think, over to... I, I might just murder that alpaca, honestly. Move over to, uh... Not this... Checkmark system, we'll actually do manualized priorities, but for now... I'm kinda tempted to... Leave that off. Wherever you're going, Mr. Man, you need to come back, chop some trees down. Harvesting raspberry bushes, everyone's doing it, good. Pemmican is apparently food, there we go. Spoils in one year, one season. What is pemmican, anyway? A pres preserved mashed mixture of fat and plant food. Tastes bland, but not offensive. Lasts a very long time without refrigeration. The nutrition value is pretty trash, it appears to be. Why don't you haul that back, then? I was going to say, it seems pretty strange that we would spawn with no food at all. Okay, let's uh, say we want a roof here for sure. In this area here, I definitely want to have a no roof area. Just to confirm that they don't accidentally roof this in, because we're going to grow some stuff in this small amount of rich soil. In fact, we could probably establish a grow zone here already. We're gonna plant some rice. And all that stuff there. The mud isn't gonna work so well, but the rest of it will be great. And for now, let's also tell them to hold this door open. And we're gonna have to build some beds. But more beds than we need because eventually we're going to want to have uh, the ability to cycle them in and out, I think. Okay. Got plenty of wood to make those initial beds. Let's uh, forbid some of these. Get the first five up and running, to begin with. Got some plants, some scumbags planting some, some plants for us, it's very nice. The roof's coming along, you can actually see the shade of the roof. It's gonna get rather dark in here soon. So we're gonna need some light. We have no ability to make power, yay. Medieval corpse bonfire, no. Uh, there is a way, though, to make some lights. I just gotta remember how. Ship, temperature. Make a campfire, as with all heat sources, it must be placed indoors, so it has a suitable place to heat. Yeah, a campfire seems like a reasonable thing to make. Uh, we'll put one in there somewhere. Passive cooler, traditional unpowered cooler that works by water evaporation, will self-destruct after several days. We're gonna want to build one of those at some point as well. Torch lamp. There we go. That's where we're going to find our light. Our little medieval village. Oh, I wonder what's in there. Probably nothing's in there, I would hope. What's everyone up to? Cutting grass. Pulling the pemmican. Bringing some wood back. Building a roof. Scumbag getting busy. Scumbag the tender. <laughs> and what a coincidence. What a, That is just so... So surprising. 
Okay, so we've got some a bond with the. Um, he likes his his warg. He's got an acquaintance with Sly and Taze. He's rivaled to Wallace the Girthy. Oh my gosh, lots of rivalries. Not good. Not good. It's gonna get so. So um, is seriously? Wait a second. Is 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 scumbag like rival to everyone? No, it's the Girthy who is. He doesn't like Taze or scumbag. Can we get rid of these rivalries, I wonder? Just by, like, forcing them to like each other. Would you please like each other? Here, play some horseshoes together. It'll be great. Go outside and have some horseshoe. Just a little bit of wood. It's all it takes. You will work in pitch darkness. Scumbag is now wandering. So scumbag is, uh, let's see what these are at, scumbag, he's a cook, really interested in, in animals and training and stuff, well I'll tell you that alpaca and that turkey both looked pretty appealing to me as uh, initial taming targets, let's see if we can get scumbag working on that. This is another really cool feature to the uh, the numbers thing. You can actually change from colonists to other things. So you can go to like wild animals, and then you can add a uh, add a stat like say minimal handing skill. Sort by that, and then you can find. Hey, the alpaca requires no skill. The turkeys require two. Find find things that are easier for your guy to target. So I I find stuff like that to be really handy. Scumbag, excuse me. I said go and like do that. There. You go. He's just now decided to do it. Good job. Who was the crafter? And does crafting constitute making making a bed? Can't tell Taze to do it. Taze is a very passionate hunter, but it's turned off. She's got crafting turned on. Construction. It's gotta be what it is. Oh, this is a problem. We only have one person with construction turned on right now. Let's turn a few more of those on, just so a couple more people can work on this. Of course, Taze is not one of those people. What could Taze work on instead? A little bit of cooking would be nice. Let's get that built out. And she can start cooking. Excuse me, are you are you seriously roofing? Removing roof. Yeah, I, I specifically told you to not make a roof there. I guess it added a roof automatically or something. Gotta make sure this is brightly lit, otherwise the food can't grow. So, okay, cool. We've got uh, we got our campfire. We can add a bill and start doing some some crafting and cooking and stuff. We're gonna say make make pemmican. Let's take a look at a couple of these things. Burn apparel, burn drugs. So we've got the details of pemmican. Pemmican requires 24 work, 0.5 nutrition. The simple meal requires less work. Same thing, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 nutrition. I don't see like a number of output. Like how many do you get when you make pemmican? I suppose we'll do one each then. Let's see what happens. We definitely need to hunt something. I just don't want to kill that first and only alpaca. Nor do I particularly want to hunt the, uh... Ooh, it's a lynx. That seems rather dangerous. And a bear! Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? There's gonna be more animals in the future. Let's stay away from the bear. Let's just kill this guy. Kill them both. It's too early to start worrying about that kind of thing. Get him. Bows and arrow. Come on, we need some dead meat. Skill stuff. Yoshi Zors and Sly, are they're gonna take him down. Nice shot. 
All right, it's probably about that time for a butcher table, huh? So it's gonna be production butcher stable made out of wood. Got a little bit of light. We got one bed that was built already. It's an awful bed. Who is able to actually construct scumbag, Yoshisaurus, and the Girthy? Scumbag can construct. Any particular reason? Is it not considered construction? I guess I'm getting confused by this. Smith, Taylor, Art, Craft. Stone cutting, smelting, and more. No, it's not. It's not crafting. Maybe it's Smith. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm getting confused by this. Did I accidentally make him uh, incapable of something? We have the wood necessary. We need the wood. Where we, we just need just needs work. Can't seem to tell anybody to do it. I feel very bad for this alpaca. Well, uh, just uh, make the bed, please. What's going on with making the bed? Can I see who built this one? Well, I suppose. What now? What? Okay, so Yoshizors can do it. Yoshizors. Yoshizors is able to build it. Hunt. Construct. Hall clean research. But scumbag can't? So what does Yoshizors have that Scumbag doesn't? It's not hunts. Can't be grow. Can't be plant gut. Pl plant uh, cut. All clean research manage. That is really confusing. I don't. I just. I don't get. What is going on with only one person being allowed to do it? Okay, well, one way or another the beds are getting built. I'm gonna see if I can figure this out, but uh... Let's put in a cut here, and in the next episode, hopefully this strangely coincidental group of people will work together to survive. And I guess only Yoshi's Oars is allowed to make anything. Because them's the rules, apparently. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. See you again in the next episode.